Hi and welcome. I'm Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at the improvements that were made to the Object Selection Tool in Photoshop. The Object Selection Tool uses artificial intelligence to detect and select several different types of regions in images, including skies, buildings, animals, and now it can automatically detect, select, and mask entire people, as well as regions such as their hair, facial features, clothing, and more. With the Object Selection tool selected, I'll use the Disclosure Triangle to choose Cloud. This will enable Photoshop to do its object detection in the cloud, which will give us higher quality and more detailed results. As I hover the cursor over the image, Photoshop will display a magenta overlay over the different objects and people regions that it detects. If I hover the cursor over the edge of the person, it will detect the entire person. To change the overlay options, I'll select the gear icon and increase the opacity to 50% so that it's easier to see the overlay in this video. There are also options to hide the overlay if you find it too distracting, but I'll keep it set to auto for now. All right, the easiest way to select a people region like this hat is to simply click on the overlay to convert the overlay to a selection. To change the color of the hat, I'll add an adjustment layer using the icon on the Layers panel and choose Hue and Saturation. Then I'll shift the hue towards red to better match her shirt and decrease the saturation just a little bit. We can also use the Select People option. I'll click on the thumbnail for the person and we can choose to select the entire person, a specific region, or a combination of regions. When I position the cursor over the region, Photoshop displays the corresponding overlay in the image area. I want to darken the woman's hands and arms to place more emphasis on her face, so I'll select both regions and then click Apply. Then I'll choose the Adjustment Layer icon, select Curves, and drag down on the curve to darken the area. Finally, let's adjust her lips because that's only one region, I'll click on the overlay in the image area, add another hue and saturation adjustment layer, and shift the hues towards red, increase the saturation, and decrease the lightness. Next, let's move to this image that has multiple people. This time, when I choose Select People, we see a thumbnail for each person that it's detected. Clicking on the thumbnail will display the detected regions for that person. Clicking the thumbnail again will toggle off that person so that you can select another person and see their attributes. We can also select multiple thumbnails to select multiple people and then select regions such as eyes or teeth, hats or clothing, and then we could adjust them all at once. For the sake of time, I'll choose cancel because I wanna show one more feature. To have Photoshop automatically mask all of the people in an image and any other objects that it detects, we can choose Layer, Mask All Objects. Photoshop will automatically generate layer groups with layer masks for all of the people and objects it detects. Now in this photo, it didn't detect any objects, but it did create layer groups with masks for each person. With the background Object 1 layer group targeted, I'll add a quick Curves Adjustment layer just to demonstrate how easy it is to make selections and adjustments this way. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.